Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will make a digital high precision power supply with this module and with this 50 volts SMPS power supply. Now let's begin. You know this module you have seen it in my previous video. If not, you can find the link in this playlist. For this module, I bought this uh, 48 volts, 5 amps power supply. And this uh, power supply has an adjustment here. And uh, with uh, on maximum adjustments, this uh, power supply gives us 51, 52 volts instead of uh, 48 volts. Now let's make a short test. First of all, I hope that you can see here in this menu we have the input voltage. Input voltage is 51.2 volts. It's stable as you can see. There's are very very small uh, changes. Two or three. 20 30 millivolts now let's get back to the main menu now it's set to 12 volts and the current protection it's uh, 5 amps now let's and i want to show you something I made some tests with this uh, power meter and uh, when this is uh, turned off all these uh, together are taking 16 watts from the main power supply and that's why I have to add an additional switch, power switch. Now I want to show you this part. This was made from uh, a big piece of ABS and here with the heat I bend it with the heat. Here also uh, was bent with the heat and I made this uh, hole for this module. Now I will show you how this should like. This one has to be here. And this is the power switch. And This should be something like this. Okay. 
now I have to make the final adjustments and I have to glue this also with the heat. I will glue this two parts together and this, this side and this side, will ma I will make a cover from a thin material. There's no need to use uh, this uh, big uh, material. I will use a small one. This is the final result. I uh, glued together the two parts, these two parts of the case. I fixed uh, the parts and this is the result. This was a very simple project, but uh, making this case took me a lot of time, it was very very difficult. I uh, rather buy one or uh, you can 3D print. Now let's make some tests. I put this power meter here. I change this to watts. Now it's on watts. What uh, I want to show you now, I will start from main switch and uh, this switch off. And now you can see there is about 8 watts, 10 watts power consumption when this is off. And that's why I put this main switch. Now let's uh, power on. And let's make some test. I will use this uh, auto lamp, 12 volts lamp. Now, the current setting is 5.1 amp, power protection is 5.2 amps, so I put this uh, 12 volts lamp here. The current protection is 5.2 amps, voltage protection is uh, 50 volts, current is set to 5.1 amps, and now voltage is set to 1 volt. I will uh, change it to 12 volts. Now let's let, 
10 volts and now I will uh, turn on the output I want to show you something the power supply started for a short period of time and after that uh, enters the current protection and uh, you see it was turned off I will turn on again now it starts because the lamp is uh, hot but if I will let uh, the lamp uh, to be cold will not start now let's uh, make some test we have uh, 10 volts and 4.5 amps let's see what happens if we increase uh, the current so voltage 11 volts 12 volts 13 volts and uh, now you can see even if I want to increase the voltage and the current the current limiting it's to 5.1 amps let's see what happens when we start again I want to show you the efficiency here we have a 60 4 watts power consumption power we use and here we have uh, 85 watts uh, power we take there is a good efficiency now i want to show you something else So here we have the voltage. I want to show you the fluctuation of the output voltage. I will uh, change the resolution. I have to change to AC. And now I want to show you this uh, wave when we take 5 amps out from this power supply. So voltage.
I want to show you now uh, we use 5 amps and at 5 amps you can see we have uh, 100 millivolts these fluctuations and uh, the frequency is about 70 kilohertz now i want to show you this cover this cover and uh, all the parts i told you was made here in diy i bend this with uh, hot air this and all of that was bent with hot air and then uh, was uh, glued together also with hot air. I melt the parts and uh, glue together. I uh, want to show you these holes and uh, I uh, after some use maybe I will put a fan here if uh, I will see that it's uh, very hot. Now this is not hot, has only 20, 30 degrees. And this one, it's not hot, also under 30 degrees. This came here. And has some screws. I hope that you liked this project. I invite you to do this of your own. And if you have some questions, please put it in the comments.